Hi. Today I'm here to do a review for you, um, and this review is of The Last Banquet by Jonathan Grimwood. This was one of, uh, this was a book I got sent by Canongate Books to review. Um, it comes out on the 3rd of July, um, and it's a story, it is the story of Jean-Marie Damu, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and he is a poor kid um, in Paris, I think it's Paris, I can't remember, yeah, I think it's Paris, uh, and he starts off the story and he's a poor kid and he, like, he hasn't, you know, obviously he's poor so he hasn't got enough money for food, so he eats things like, um, tadpoles and little fish, um, that he gets out of the, out of the brook, and, like, spider webs and mice and things like that, um, <clears throat> and then he gets picked up off the street, um, and sent to work in the workhouse, um, where he still, he gets good food, um, but he finds it a bit bland, um, you know, like porridge and stuff like that, um, and then, yeah, he builds, he builds up, he works his way up the ranks, so, you know, he starts off as a poor kid, and then he gets moved to the workhouse, and then he gets promoted, and he keeps moving up the ranks, and basically, it's a story about food, really, um, but while this is all going on, and while he's climbing up the ranks, um, the French Revolution is going on, or is happening, um, outside of the, outside the walls, um, and, yeah, a lot of stuff happens, and, yeah, something really, really gross, I don't know if the word's gross, but something not very good happens at the end, um, something a bit disturbing, if you will, um, and I like that about this book, you know, not every book has to end with a horrible end, uh, with a good ending, do you know what I mean, like, sometimes books are boring if they end with a really happy ending, so I'm glad this one didn't have a happy ending. I know that sounds weird, but I am. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed this book, actually. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did. Um, I mean, I received it on... I think I received it on Monday, and today's Thursday, so it hasn't taken me long to read it. I think it was Monday I received it. Yeah, it was Monday, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this. As, not as much as I... Uh, as much as... Sorry, I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did. Um, it's historical, I'd, I'd class it as historical fiction. I mean, it starts off in 1723. Starts off in 1723, um, and it goes all the way up to... ...1784, I think. Hang on. Yep, all the way up to 1784. Um, yeah, and it's a really good book. It's really well written. Like, the language, even though it is historical fiction, language isn't that bad. I mean, I don't really read historical fiction, but I managed to get along with this the language in this book. It was actually all right. Uh, yeah, so it's a really good book. Um, <clears throat> it's about food, primarily, and about the French Revolution. Um, yes, and it is really good. Uh, I, give this book, I gave this book... A four out of five stars. It wasn't perfect. Um, some of the language could have been simplified. Um, and occasionally I found it a bit slow. Uh, kind of towards the middle-ish, maybe. Yeah, from about here. Like, yeah. Kind of during the middle of the book. Maybe this, this kind of chunk here. About three or four chapters. I found a bit slow. Um... But overall, it's a good book, it has a good storyline, um, and it's very well written. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, that is my review. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like, and if you wish, you may subscribe. Um, and if this sounds like a good book for you, then pick it up. Uh, like I said, it's being published on the 3rd of July in paperback. And I love this cover, by the way. It's just so cool. It's got, like... It's a very regal looking man, but his face is a tiger, I think. Yeah, and I love the typography of the title and the author's name. But yeah, I do really like this book. Um, like I said, 
4 out of 5 stars. If you want to pick up a copy, I suggest you do. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.